dairy is under quarantine after an inspection found one of their cows had tuberculosis. New tonight, Amy Reed found out why this might have happened and what it means for the local dairy industry. I spoke with the vet that took care of these cows, and he said until this, there was no indication these cows were anything but healthy. But now there's a whole host of government organizations trying to figure out what happened. They're wonderful people, excellent farmers, excellent managers. They take really good care of their cattle, yeah. Veterinarian Mike Etter usually takes care of the cows at Meyer Farms. But now after a case of bovine tuberculosis, there's nothing he can do. The illness is untreatable. Any cow testing positive must be euthanized. Oh, it's, it's devastating for him. It's uh, because it's, their farm's quarantined. They can't sell animals. Um, and until it gets resolved, it's very expensive for them. Not to mention just the emotional toll. He said there was nothing the farmers could have done to keep this from happening. Bovine TB is so rare, so much so that neither he nor the vet from the Wisconsin Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection had ever seen it. Now they have to figure out why it happened. They administered a TB test to the whole herd, so far finding it in two other cows. It's difficult to see. We know it's had a significant impact on this farm, and with other economic pressures, we, we know it's it's a pressure for them as well. The family didn't want to be interviewed, but they did send me a statement saying in part, it's hard to describe the impact this news has had on our family and the loss we feel. And that loss includes our girls, our cows. They are part of our family and the reason we're here. Edder said the family can bounce back from this, and they plan to, as for other dairies in the area. Our advice to other dairy farmers is to just follow good biosecurity practices, know where you're purchasing animals from, if possible, have any incoming animals tested. Everyone I spoke with said if this is an outbreak, it should stay contained at the dairy, which means as long as you're drinking pasteurized milk and eating meat that's been inspected, you should be fine. Reporting in Wanakee, Amy Reed, WISC News 3. The Department of Agriculture is also working with the Department of Health Services to make sure any humans involved were not exposed to TB as well. Still ahead.